Hey everyone, my name is Victor Melcher. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I just want to say welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about why you should shoot spec ads. And in the video I'm going to explain what a spec ad is, the benefits of shooting one, and tips on shooting your own. So let's get started. So the main obstacle with commercial filmmaking or just filmmaking in general is that you want to get hired by these brands to gain experience, but a lot of these brands won't hire you if you have no experience. So you're kind of stuck in this loop of trying to apply to jobs and getting rejected and that's where spec ads come into play. So a spec ad is essentially a fake ad that you shoot and you're not being paid or contracted by the company to film it. Spec ads really allow you to shoot your own work without having to rely or wait on brands to hire you. And that's where the first benefit comes into play, which is building your portfolio. So as a filmmaker, you really want to have this portfolio and body of work that you can show to potential clients. And this will help them decide whether you're the right fit for their job or not. And the next benefit is just being able to gain experience and learn from your own mistakes. So after each spec ad that I film, there's usually a few things that I can take away from the project and improve on. So by the time the next one comes around, I'll kind of know how to prepare and fix that. And this will help you even more when it comes to getting paid commercial work because you'll be able to prepare and know what it takes to create a commercial from start to finish. And the third benefit is that spec ads allow you to go out and make fulfilling work because sometimes paid work isn't always the most fun. With these past few months being my first time quitting my job and focusing on full-time freelance filmmaking, I was kind of running into a problem which was just me burning myself out because I was kind of focusing on doing this paid client work and doing necessarily not work that I would specifically want to focus on. So I think it's important in finding a balance and shooting a spec ad every once in a while can really help you just express yourself creatively. And for me, it just helps keep that curiosity and that, that excitement that is what got me into filmmaking in the first place. So yeah. Now the last benefit is that this makes your audience more aware of your work and in return, you'll get more work. And for someone like me, who's a little bit more of an introvert, um, I don't necessarily go out a lot and build these social connections. So me being able to share my work on the internet kind of just allows it for my whole audience to see and it continues for me to grow a network of potential clients. So even though you're shooting free work, it is still eventually leading to paid work. And now for some tips on shooting spec ads. So tip number one is to pick a brand that you're interested in and pick a brand that you actually care for. You are in total control of this ad, so why not pick one that you actually like? It doesn't have to be the biggest brand like Nike or Apple. And it could be a product that you or maybe one of your friends already owns, so this will help keep that budget low so you don't have to spend like $50 to $200 on, the, on a new product. Now tip number two is to imagine the brand is actually hiring you. Research the brand, see what types of ads they tend to make, see what their target audience is, and kind of like just figure out an angle for this ad that you're gonna make. For example, earlier this year, I shot a Glossier spec ad, and after doing the research, they kind of have like a dreamy feel, and it's very whimsical, so that was like the tone I made for my ad. And a few weeks later, they actually reposted my ad on their TikTok, which was really cool. If you do find a brand that is really interactive, there's a higher chance of you getting your work reposted. Thanks, Glossier. <laughs> and the last tip is just to have fun with it. Take some time to appreciate the fact that you're not being weighed down by any client demands or any timelines. And honestly, I really don't see any setbacks with going out and creating your own work. If anything, this continues to kind of just push my creativity and my skill level, which is something I, I want to do. So go out, shoot your own spec ad, put your effort into it and have fun. All right, so that's all for this video. I just want to say thank you for watching and feel free to let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.